Hello everyone. Today we have a new combination of sphere and a hexagonal prism to project. So let's take the problem. Draw an isometric projection of a sphere resting centrally on a rectangular face of a horizontal hexagonal prism having its hexagonal ends perpendicular to VP, side of hexagon 30 mm, length of the prism 80 mm and diameter of sphere 60 mm. Here the sphere is resting centrally on a rectangular face of a horizontal hexagonal prism. A horizontal hexagonal prism means solid axis or axis of the prism is horizontal or parallel to HP. So all these positions are possible positions. Next, having its hexagonal ends perpendicular to VP. So hexagonal ends, opposite hexagonal ends of the prism are perpendicular to VP. This is the position. So this is final position where the prism is resting on its rectangular face on the ground on HP and two opposite hexagonal faces are perpendicular to VP. Now, sphere is resting centrally on its rectangular face. So, on the upper rectangular face, this sphere is resting centrally. Centrally means the point of contact is the center of this rectangular face. So, this is final position. Now, first of all, we have to project projections or we have to draw projections of this hexagonal prism then we will mark the center of top rectangular face and from that point we have to draw projections of sphere here the sphere is resting on its rectangular face on HP so the rectangular face rectangular face of the sphere will be on horizontal plane so we have to start from its base which is vertical so we will start from its uh, hexagonal base from here and then we will project the second base somewhere here and then we will find the center and second solid. For projecting hexagonal lines of the prism, first we are required to draw a regular hexagon with helping figure. So drawing a regular hexagon of size 30. Here we have to take ISO 30 because we are drawing isometric projection. So taking ISO 30 using isometric scale, drawing a regular hexagon, and then we have to enclose that hexagon inside a rectangle or inside a rectangular box by drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side. First base side means the side which is assumed as reference side. So, this is the hexagon. Next, enclosing this hexagon inside a box. So, this is my first reference side, drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to this side, passing through all corners of the hexagon. So, from opposite side, And then perpendicular to the side. Okay, next dimensioning vertically, say the height is y and horizontally. Next, locating center of helping figure, drawing 
right line from opposite corner joining opposite corners comma intersection point will be the center and then from center we have to draw center lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side center line parallel to first base side and perpendicular to first base side now we have to project this hexagon along with helping figure here isometrically along vertical iso plane vertical iso plane means first axis x axis is along second iso axis and y will be on vertical axis so marking x along second iso axis this is x so corner to center and then center to the last corner this is the end and vertically we have this but initially we have to have vertical axis so this is the center line and from center line to the top corner now from these two points Drawing lines parallel to second and third iso axis. This is third iso axis. So from this point parallel to third iso axis, and then from this point line parallel to second iso axis. So this is the projection of helping box. Next. Drawing lines from all corners of helping box parallel to first iso axis for generators. So from the second corner, drawing line parallel to first iso axis. From this corner also, line parallel to first iso axis. First iso axis. Now along these lines, we have to mark limits of 80, iso 80 because we are drawing isometric projection. Again, you have to use isometric scale. So marking iso 80, the limit is iso 80. This will be the limit. So from corner, this is the limit, and then. Okay. Right. Now joining all corners, we get the helping figure for hexagonal base on rear side. Right. Next, marking all corners of the hexagon, starting from first base and then on second base. Say this is first corner, and points are A, B, C, D, E, and F. So from the first corner, this is the distance from A. This is the distance which we have to mark here. A, then A to B. A to be along same line and from corner to C, corner to C will be our midpoint then from corner to D, corner to D, this is D, D to E, D to E and then corner to F, corner to F, right. Again we have to repeat the process for second base. Starting from this corner, this is D, D to E, D to E, 
E, D, C from this corner, C, corner to B, corner to B, B to A, B to A, and last corner to F, corner to F, corner to F. Okay. Here, we know that the sphere is resting centrally on the rectangular face, on the rectangular face, top rectangular face of the hexagonal prism. This is the rectangular face where the sphere is resting. So, first of all, drawing lines for the top rectangular face and then marking the center of this rectangular face. Now for marking center, you have to bisect these two sides or bisect all four sides to get the center. So this is the point, drawing lines from midpoints from this point to this point also. So the common intersection point is the center, center of upper rectangular face and the same point is the point of contact of sphere. This point is the point of contact of sphere and prism. Now for the projection of sphere, we know that from the point of contact, first step is we have to draw a line perpendicular to the base or parallel to third isoaxis for a length of 30, iso 30, for a length of 30 because the radius here is 30. So from this point drawing line parallel to third isoaxis and length is iso 30 and vertically. So 30, this is the center, center of sphere. Now for sphere, we know that the final projection of sphere will be a circle, circle of true radius, true radius means true 30, from the point which is the center, which is the projected center of the sphere. This is the point from where we are required to draw the circle of true radius to 30 and the circle is final projection of the sphere so using dark pencil directly right So this is the center of sphere and final projection of sphere which is resting centrally on the top of horizontal hexagonal prism. Here again I am repeating this, this sphere is resting centrally, sphere is resting centrally on top rectangular face. So first of all we have to find the center, center of the top rectangular plane. So by bisecting this side and this side and by bisecting these two sides and drawing lines parallel to first and second side, we will get the center which is the point of contact of sphere and prism. Then from this point, draw a line parallel to third vertical isoaxis for a length of radius, iso radius. So the length here is iso 30 and from the center, from this point, draw a circle of true radius, true 30. This is final answer. Now, showing all visible generators and sides of the hexagon. These are visible sides, visible generators of the hexagon. 
And please use that pencil for final outline. Now here, this side is visible from this point to this point. This is visible generator. Again from the corner, from this corner, this side is visible. And from these two corners, this generator is a visible generator. And this is final projection of the combination. Last dimension, from these two ends, the lines parallel to first line surfaces. And for dimensioning, these are extension lines for dimensioning line, line parallel to the side 30, length is 80. And diameter of sphere is sixty, showing the radius of the sphere. And please write true, true radius or through 30. Here the height from the center of the sphere to the point of contact the height is ISO 30. ISO 30. Next center lines. For the base and solid axis, so for reason these are points and these are corresponding points from where center line pass through. First center line, second center line for the first base, second set, these are points, midpoint. Okay, and these are final centers. So, joining center to center, we get the solid axis. Also, for a sphere from the center, please draw lines parallel to first, second, and third iso axis. So, from the center, first axis. Parallel to first ice axis, second axis again passing through the center parallel to second ice axis, and third axis parallel to third ice axis or vertical axis. Right, and last direction of viewing or direction of observation. Preferably along second iso axis and from the midpoint. So, this is the final direction. Last, we have to write headings. For helping here and for final answer. So, please write headings. These figures in single stroke letter writing, preferably for height of 5 mm, helping figure. and isometric projection.
isu metric projection and please follow all rules of single stroke letter writing So this is the complete answer. Now I request you to please draw this problem, indicate direction of observation, do all dimensioning, helping figure, write headings, headings of helping figure and isometric projection. And if you face any problem, write your comments, doubts and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you.